in this video we are discussing the enzymes their importance and some historical aspects what are enzymes enzymes are the most remarkable and highly specialized proteins having extraordinary catalytic power they have a high degree of specificity for their substrate the enzymes are highly specific for their substrate and they work under mild temperature and ph conditions by comparing uh, the enzymes with chemical catalyst the there are different chemical catalyst which uh, catalyzes different uh, reactions but the difference between the chemical catalyst and the biological catalyst that is the biological catalyst is enzyme uh, are the mainly this the specificity enzymes are highly specific but the chemicals are not that much specific and the, for the chemical catalyst for uh, catalyzing reaction they require high or extreme conditions that is high temperature and ph but in the case of um, enzymes the biological catalyst they require only mild temperature and ph conditions uh, for their working then what is the importance of enzymes the enzymes are substances that are needed by the body to speed up certain reactions what is the function of enzyme the enzymes functions to speed up reactions the certain reactions uh, occurring or the happening in our body to speed up that reaction enzymes are helping <coughs> and they require for every day to day needs for the working of the body the entire body the whole processes different type of processes are uh, occurring in our body or in a single cell for all the reactions they require the need of enzymes digestion then creation of energy to run to walk to store for everything for every processes uh, the body requires the help of enzymes in the case of digestion uh, the process requires different uh, types of enzymes for the digestion of protein they require particular enzyme for the digestion of carbohydrates they require another enzyme for digestion of lipids they require different enzymes so for the digestion process single process is occurring with the help of different types of enzymes and this enzymes are central to every biochemical process the biochemical process you can see the role of enzymes in every biochemical process then they helps in degradation of the nutrients the nutrients are degraded uh, into uh, small parts to uh, produce energy there also we, uh, the body require uh, the help of enzymes then for the transformation of energy the energy transformed from one molecule to another in that process also require energy then making bio macro molecules for the making of dna for the making of proteins for the making of lipids they require different 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 types of enzymes so all the uh, processes are happening or occurring only because of this enzyme that's why enzymes are the most important uh, protein that is found in the living system then why the uh, study the enzymes or what is the importance of enzyme study for what the enzymes uh, enzymes are studied the study of enzyme has immense practical importance in some diseases especially the inheritable genetic disorders there may be deficiency or even a total absence of one or more enzymes other disease conditions may be the cause of excessive activity of certain enzymes that means a, a particular disease is because of the excessive over expression of certain enzymes the measurement of the activity of the enzymes in blood or plasma or body fluids or erythrocytes or tissue samples are important in diagnosing certain diseases that is for the diagnosis of certain diseases the the enzymes are quantified the enzymes in the blood or in 
body fluids are quantified or measured to know the the whether uh, the person is having particular disorder many drugs acts through interaction with enzymes okay for the drug activity uh, the the many drugs require the help of enzymes then enzymes are also important practical tool in the chem chemical industry for the chemical industry they are using different types of enzymes then in uh, food processing okay in food industry or food making or food processing they require different types of enzymes and last in agriculture for the agriculture production uh, but um, but for the production of the genetically modified uh, plants or the agriculture uh, what bio agriculture products or the uh, bio uh, or microbial products or the bio fertilizers or uh, uh, bio inoculants different enzymes are used for for all these purposes uh, we need the study of enzymes so we have to understand the activity of enzymes and the various uh, the 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 type of reaction they carries everything about the enzyme should uh, we, we should understand under, 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 uh, we should understood all these activities history of enzymes biological catalyst or the enzymes was first recognized and described in the late 1700s in the study on the digestion of meat by secretion of stomach that is in the 1700s different scientists studied uh, how the meat is digested by using uh, the secretions from stomach research continued in 1800s with the examination of conversion of starch to sugar by saliva and various plant extracts again in 1800s several scientists studied how the sugar uh, is uh, converted into or the starch is converted into sugar by uh, saliva and plant okay what is the mechanism how the starch is converted or degraded into the sugars by saliva then they studied this process uh, in in 1850s the louis pasteur concluded that the fermentation of sugar into alcohol by yeast is catalyzed by ferments he called that particular compound as ferments okay in 1850 louis pasteur concluded that the fermentation of sugar into alcohol you know the fermentation process the fermentation is a conversion of sugar into alcohol that is by yeast catalyzed by the yeast cells and he called that yeast cells or the that compound that is present in the yeast as ferments ferments he postulated that these ferments were inseparable from the structure of living yeast cells these ferments were inseparable inseparable from the structure of living yeast cells and this view or this concept is called vitalism this concept is called vitalism that is he concluded that the fermentation is carried out by the yeast or the something that is present in the yeast he called that a compound that is present in the yeast which converted sugar into alcohol as ferments and he pointed point out that the ferments were no inseparable from the yeast cell we cannot separate the ferments from the yeast cell that is a, uh, a point uh, by uh, louis pasteur and this concept was known as or is known as vitalism then in 1897 edward buckner discovered that yeast extract could ferment sugar to alcohol this in 1897 Uh, the edward buckner discovered that yeast extracts could ferment sugar to alcohol what was the uh, vitalism view the ferments were inseparable but the buckner separated these ferments that that's the yeast extract he took yeast extract and then he carried out the fermentation process providing that the fermentation was prompted by molecules that continued to function when removed from the cell that is he successfully removed the the ferments from the yeast cells and this discovery put an end to the vitalism because the ferments were separated from the yeast cells so the vitalism is over the discover uh, this discovery put an end to the 
Louis Pasteur's vitalism. Then Frederick W. Cunet later gave the name enzymes to these molecules detected by Buchner. Okay, he called the the W. Cunet later gave the name enzymes. He called the W. Cunet called the ferments or the 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 yeast extract that is prepared by the Buchner named that uh, the yeast extract enzyme okay named that yeast extract as enzyme uh, to the molecule that was isolated by buchner then the isolation and crystallization of urease by james summer in 1926 provided a breakthrough in the early enzyme studies or in early enzyme studies the isolation of and crystallization isolation and crystallization of urease enzyme by james summer in 1926 provided a breakthrough in early enzyme studies okay summer found that urease crystals consisted entirely of protein that was his finding the summer crystallized the urease enzyme and found that the urease enzyme consisted entirely of protein or only proteins and he postulated that all enzymes are protein because he found only proteins in urease urease enzyme and he postulated that all the enzymes are proteins and this remained controversial for a very long period only in 1930 was summer conclusion widely accepted Okay, until then it was not accepted many of them opposed this uh, finding that is all the enzymes are proteins but in 1930 the summer conclusion was widely accepted uh, this because of the john northrop and moses kunitz two scientists john northrop and moses kunitz crystallized another another enzyme pepsin pepsin and also trypsin okay and they isolated different uh, digestive enzymes like pepsin trypsin and other digestive enzymes they isolated and they found that the pepsin trypsin and other digestive enzyme consisted only proteins so they proved that uh, what the all the enzymes are having or all the enzymes are proteins the bs haldane and the scientist made the remarkable suggestion that weak bonding interaction between an enzyme and its substrate might be used to catalyze the reaction that is an insight into the enzyme catalysis was first done by b s haldane how enzyme works or what is the type of bonding between a substrate and enzyme an insight was given by b s haldane 